Lawson. No way, Liz, stupid. Today's the day you go down. Forget it, Lawson. They haven't invented the ball game you can beat Vince at. Yeah? Well, maybe they haven't invented it, but I have. I thought it up all night long last night. My game's got a basketball, a football, a kickball, and a tetherball. It's got all the balls. So I call it all the balls. You get it? Mm, I think so. Play it like this? Uh, hey, that's dumb! You're wrong! Hey, stop it! Stop your playing! Listen up! By order of the Board of Education, effective immediately, all balls at 3rd Street School will be returned to the school district. So drop them if you got them! Returning all the balls? She's gotta be... I'll take that. Hey! Miss Finster, this just isn't right. Why are they taking all our balls? I have uh, no comment on the removal of the balls. No comment? But what are we supposed to... I said I have no comment! Playground without balls? But that's crazy! You hear about this kind of thing happening other places, but you never figure it's gonna happen to you. That's what they said about little Jimmy Kratner. Little, little Jimmy Kratner? What you talking about, Butch? Oh, nothing. Now, about them balls. You heard something? Usually a kid like me does hear a thing or two, but folks are keeping pretty tight lipped about this one. Curses! Easy, little lady. Just use your noggin. Seems to me if you ask the right questions, you'll be crawling in balls in no time. But who do we ask? Usually when something this big happens, only one who can turn it around is the one who gave the order. And an order this big had to come straight from the top. I've heard dumber theories. And that's it. Guys, we're paying a little visit to Principal Prickly. Miss Lemon, we need to see Principal Prickly. Oh, I am sure that Principal Prickly has no knowledge of and did not participate in the heinous removal of the playground balls. Hey, you're reading that off a card! Detweiler, in here. The rest of you, too. Come on. All right, sir, let's hear it. Why were the balls taken, and when do we get them back? I don't know, and I don't know. Don't know, or don't care? Don't care? Are you kids nuts? Who ever heard of an elementary school with no balls? With no ball games to play? Who knows, you kids might storm in here and bother me. So how come you took them? Did Miss Lemon read you that card? What sort of a principal do you think I am? Fact is, I recently ordered you kids a whole new set of balls. They just never showed up. A new set? Great. Now that's two sets of missing balls. Hmm. Is it possible that the two sets are somehow interconnected? Sir, if you did order new balls, I assume you have some proof? Proof? I where did you kids learn to be so suspicious? From your always be suspicious lecture, sir. Fine. You kids insist on proof? Menlo's got a copy of my ball requisition form on file. Go on, ask him. Don't mind if we do. Hey, Menlo. Oh, TJ and friends. I was uh, just shredding some meaningless old menus. We need to see a certain ball requisition form. A ball requisition form? <laughs> what for? For finding the lowdown fun-killing nimnoid who took our playground balls. Oh, yes, your playground balls. Though I myself don't participate in any ball-related activities, I'd rather enjoy watching you kids frolic outside my window. Whoever took them, I hope you make them pay. Oh, we will. But first, the form. I'd love to show it to you, but it's just been pouched and sent to the district warehouse. Sorry. We're not leaving till we get some answers, Menlo. <sighs> What? This goes way above my office. What can you tell us? Not me. Not here. But I know someone who can help. They'll contact you. Where? 1230. By the woods at the edge of the playground. Make sure you aren't followed. Why, hello. Would you perhaps be the helpful informant we seek? My name is... Ah, no names. You Egyptians have stumbled onto something big. Very big. I knew it. But who's behind it? Follow the memos. Sent is old. Follow the memos? Of course. A paper trail. Bad enough if you don't have any balls to play with. But now we gotta go dumpster diving? Yeah! Hey, you guys, I found something! That's a napkin, Gus. Oh, how about this? It's a copy of Principal Prickly's ball requisition form. It even says how much money they're gonna cost. And here's Superintendent Skinner's memo back to him. Let's see. <sighs> kind of hard to make out. Hmm, this is fax paper. And at the top of the partial emblem of a hotel. The Riverdoor Hotel in Washington, D.C. Of all the luck, right during a major crisis, the superintendent leaves town. What are the chances of that? I'd say pretty good, Gus, if he's hiding something. But the question is, what is he hiding? And why? Gretch? Already on it, Teach. I've accessed the school district's webpage searching for recent travel by school officials. Here we are. According to my findings, Superintendent Skinner is on a dining tour of Washington, D.C. Tonight he'll be serving Le Domicile, a quirky new five-star French restaurant. Dining tour? That must have cost a pretty penny. Something tells me exactly enough pennies to buy a new set of playground balls. It seems we've stumbled into a dark and mysterious labyrinth of deception. I believe our proper course of action is to alert the school board. Good thinking, Gretch. Who's got change? 
On behalf of the school board, I cannot deny or confirm that the students not having playground balls is not connected to the superintendent not being in town. Huh? We wasted our gum money on that? Looks like the school board's in on it, too. No wonder Menlo spooked. Everything back in its place. The key to efficiency. <laughs> huh? We know you can't talk, but this scandal is big. Heads are gonna roll. They are? Tell me what you found. No can do. Not if your office has been compromised. We need another face-to-face -face with that old lady. But, uh, she's at the dry cleaners, and she'll be there for a while. Listen, Menlo, either we get a face-to-face -face with an informant, or you get a face-to-face -face with my fist! Okay, okay. I'll organize a meeting with my best person. Fifteen minutes at the bike rack. Be there. Over here, huh? The informant! All right, informant, spill your beans. First, they're telling me what you know, and I'll point you in the right direction, eh? We know it goes as high as the school board. Eddie, higher and we're at City Hall. Not the mayor! Si, si, the mayor! Pity you can't talk to him, he's so busy. Look, guys, there he is now. What the? I'm in a cave? We gotta stop him. I categorically deny my administration's involvement. And if you print anything else, I'll sue you people back to the Stone Age. <clears throat> Mr. Mayor? What do you know? I really don't have anything to do with diverting school ball funds for travel. But just in case I do, I don't. Wait a sec. Where did Superintendent Skinner go on his trip again? Out of town? Washington, D.C. Right. So this has been way out of the mayor's league from the beginning. What's in D.C.? Or should I say who? No, T.J. You don't mean... Yes, Vince, I do. For reasons I can't think of, our superintendent has conspired with the President of the United States to take away our playground balls. No! We can't possibly retrieve our balls from the highest office in the land. No, afraid we can't. For the rest of our days at school, we'll just have to make do without. You're out. I still don't get it. What would the president want with our playground balls? The president. <laughs> Amateurs. What? Yeah, it's me. And I gotta say, you're some of the most unthorough detectives I ever laid eyes on. Hey! Easy there, TJ. Fact is, I've been shadowing you, seeing all the evidence you've been seeing. And to me, it all points in one direction. Think about it. Who sent you out to find those clues in the first place, huh? I know someone who can help. And those informants follow the memos. The old lady and the organ grinder. Telling me what you know, and I'll point you in the right direction, eh? Nice outfits they were wearing. Huh, I like them. Of course you did. And you liked them in the drama club's production of 12 Angry Organ Grinders in it, true? And Lady 2, didn't you? <gasps> That's right. And tell me, who has the key to the drama club costume chest? Menlo! Should we call you Fraulein Informant? Fess up, Menlo. You were all those informants. Yeah, so get on the phone to your little pile of president and get us back our balls. Uh, Gus, it was Menlo. Just Menlo. Wasn't it? You're right. It was me. And it's my fault they took all the balls. I know you're not into sports and all, but taking away all our balls, that's kind of harsh. No, it wasn't like that. It was late last Friday. Principal Prickly had a tea time, so Miss Lemon had me complete his order form. Simple enough, but my mind was elsewhere. Like any kid, I just wanted to get home so I could press my ties for the following week. Anyway, I checked the box for returning the old balls, but I forgot to check the box for delivering the new ones. So they took the old balls, but never knew to bring the new ones. It was all a stupid mistake. A mistake? Why didn't you just fess up and fix it? I'm the keeper of the permanent records. I'm not supposed to make mistakes. If the people of the school found out I made one, panic would ensue. Lighten up, Menlo. Everybody makes mistakes. I like to think there are no mistakes, only lessons. As long as we face them squarely and learn from them. I suppose you have a point. But hey, wait a sec. If it was your mistake, how come everyone was acting like they were trying to hide something? I guess since no one knew who was responsible, they were afraid the blame would fall on them. Wow. So even grown-ups don't want to get blamed for stuff they didn't do. And by covering up my mistake, I created the very panic I was trying to prevent. That was my real mistake. So Menlo, about those balls. Balls away! I always knew it was just a big misunderstanding. Hey, Lawson, you ready to get whooped at a game of all the balls? You bet I am, the stupid. What do you say, Menlo? You want to play, too? Thanks for the offer, TJ, but I have a requisition form to redesign, so no one will commit my error ever again. The only ball I'm using right now is the one in this ballpoint pen. Well, guys, I guess this all just goes to show we're only human. Indeed we are. Although, sometimes I wonder, is he? That's a good question, Gretch. A question that might require some investigation.